At the time of writing this video, Pal World has sold over 8 million copies in just 6 days. It's safe to say it's a firestorm of popularity, and while I haven't played the game, I think I can say that they took some pretty hefty inspiration from Pokemon. But one clear difference is that the pals don't actually evolve. There are definitely pals that look like evolutions of other pals, but the mechanic simply wasn't implemented, so I will take on the challenge of giving pals evolutions. Now, Pal World doesn't give you any starter pals, unless you count. So let Professor Some Guy choose three for you and show you their evolutions. And I choose Lift Monk, Fox Sparks, and Fuck. Lift Monk is a cute little guy who, once you capture him, just wants to sit on your head and mac dump on your enemies. But with a little love, care, and experience, you'll get... Feral Leaf. More agile and intelligent than its base form, this pal can shadow the player, providing support with powerful semi-automatic rifle. Its sweet scent helps pal spears capture rates, and its greater coordination greatly increases its baseline handiwork and medicine suitability. While very wary of outsiders, it quickly befriends those that can keep up with this pal's curiosity. For the next stage, I wanted to add something to play with the survival aspect of the game. So I made... Foxberry. As you travel with it, its berries ripen, producing a stronger scent and even greater catch rate bonus. But you can also harvest it to trade in the bonus for a good amount of food. Foxberry is mostly seen at night, breaking into camps to steal things it can't get in the wild. It's incredibly fast and people only see a blur moving past them. And now let us move on to the fire starter, Fox Sparks, the flamethrower of Power World. For its evolution, I wanted to make it hands-free, which is how I made Firefox. Ready to shoot the gout of flame at whatever you are targeting, this pal delights most in making a nest in warm ashes of its opponents. Its charred footprints make it easy to track as well and its pre-cooked nature makes it a favored among hunters. The final evolution is something powerful to go with the Power World roadmap showing us their intent to add raid bosses, which is how I made Infernine. As it grew, it became able to contain and concentrate its flame power, trading in the messy gout with focused blasts with greater heat and longer range. It's now able to use its front class like fiery melee weapons. Infernite is a beast of legend, said to be completely untamable. And for our final trio, we start with the most dangerous one for me to name. Fuck. In base form, it's already the farmer's best friend by watering crops every day. So for its evolution, I wanted something bigger to help you swim across the water more easily, especially in the early game before you get the bigger water pals. That's how I made... Paddlepuss. Able to water and harvest your crops, it can now serve as a quick way to cross the water. It also serves as a big amount of high quality meat when butchered. When hunting for one, be especially alert nearby water. At the first sign of trouble, it may dive in and swim away too fast to react. But you can definitely catch it flat footed if you are lucky enough to find it deeper inland. For the next stage, I wanted an all-terrain vehicle of a pal, an absolute unit that plow through land, rush through water, while having the turning radius of three business days. So for that, I made Quackrilla. It'll mow down trees and body check untamed pals out of the way 
to get you to your destination. At home, however, you may want to keep the big log in the pal sphere. It may just decide the fastest way to the other side of the garden is through. Oh yeah! Most often found on lonely outcroppings, the lucky fool who wakes a quack rilla receives the quickest end as it begins its rampage until lulled to sleep by a full belly. And that was giving Power World monsters their own evolutions. Give me a like if you liked the video and leave a comment about your favorite, your least favorite, or if you want to see more. Hit subscribe if you want to see more, hit the bell if you want YouTube to tell you when there's more, and I'll hit the grind to make the next video. See you all sometime soon!